Hi everybody, this is Chris and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. You all know if you've seen my previous videos that I'm moving out of my home and so I am taking apart my studio here and uh, creating another studio when I get to my ultimate place which is Hawaii. Alright guys, so you know I'm in the process of packing and uh, here in about a month, I think two weeks, I'm gonna have my pack out and I have a lot of stuff all over the place. Those are all my clothes that I've washed the last couple of days and I have a gazillion more clothes back there in my, in my room. Now, right here, I have all my pants here, you know, and I wanna do, I wanna do a separate video of how many pants do I have, what are salvage, what aren't salvage, but I tell you guys, I have pants that aren't salvage, but also pull their weight when it comes to it being awesome. So I'll go over that. And of course, you already know about my boots. Uh, these are some of them. There's more in my closet. I haven't even gone through my, um, what do you call this? My dress shoes and other shoes that I wear on the daily. So I won't be able to make any videos in a studio like this for at least a couple of months. Today I want to talk about, you know, what really is on my mind when it comes to being a denim head or being a jeans guy, right? And like I said before, I've been a jeans guy all my life, so I've gone through a lot of jeans, I've gone through a lot of denim uh, from different places like Gap, you know, uh, Uniqlo, Zara, all of these places, but as I get them and I get used to them and I don't like them anymore, then I get rid of them. Not until recently, like this year, probably a little bit of last year, 2020, that I got a hold, I really got into um, classic denim or salvage denim. So I wanna show you what I have, not because I want to brag about it, but because I want you to know Somebody like me, like a denim head, as I consider myself now, what I have as far as my collection. If I am missing something in my collection that you think I should have, and by the way, this is not the end of it, of, of course, I'm still looking for more salvage classic jeans that I can keep and talk about and fashion for you, then leave me a comment below and let me know what those things are or what you have that I don't have. Uh, just for the purpose of engagement and uh, nothing to it. And like I said, style for me is subjective. This is my style, you know, rugged style, um, wearing work clothes or um, heritage clothes. And it could be different for you, but um, I have an addiction, I think, with denim and salvage denim. So here we go. So the first thing I want to talk about is this jacket right here denim jacket i have a couple of levi's jacket but because i've gained a lot of weight as far as lifting weights that it's gotten smaller on me so i had to find something that fits me and this one fits me well there's a, a unique low denim jacket that's an extra large and fits me really well now just for a quick reference again i am six foot around 215 220 pounds depending on the day and depending how much I eat, of course. Uh, I have no intention of getting skinnier from here. I am just probably gonna get bigger from here from lifting weights and eating. So that is where I'm at and uh, you can base your, you know, your perception, I would say, from that. I'm going to divide my denim, my jeans and my pants into two categories salvage and non-salvage so that you know you just kind of see what i got right so first on the salvage side of the house i have this and if you've seen me talk about this in my other videos or wore this in my other videos this is the unique low salvage and bought it from unique low of course very fair price not bad at all i can tell you Maybe a good way to start on salvage is the unique low piece because you can, it's very comfortable. It's the red salvage. The next salvage here that I have folded 
this is not in any category by the way, they're all just selvage, is of course you've seen me with this 21.5 ounce selvage jeans that I've tried and uh, reviewed a few videos ago and uh, I put it back in its bag for now because I was intending to mail that back to the company but I ended up just ordering me a smaller one. I'm gonna work with that. I know how to tailor clothes and when that gets bigger or way out of proportion then I will tailor that myself. The next selvage that I want to talk about out of the screen here for a minute, this is the Brave Star 15 ounce selvage jeans. And you've already seen this, I did the review on this on my other video and I'm not gonna talk about that, I just kinda wanna introduce that to you. The next selvage jeans that I have here is the sugar cane and of course like any of my other other jeans you've seen me do a review on this as well on my channel so if you want to see more on that a little bit more details on what the jeans is all about please go to my channel and check it out the next one that i have here oops and the last salvage jeans that I have here is the Japan Blue Salvage that I've recently got a hold of as well and did a review on it as well. And this one is probably one of my favorite because it fits me so well and is very comfortable, especially now that it's hot. Uh, you know, the Japan Blue and Blue Japan jeans, Momotoro's are all very excellent salvage jeans. Highly recommend. But I'm folding this now because I'm gonna put it away here. But those are my salvage jeans, non salvage but otherwise classic jeans. Is this 501 jeans right here? It's like a replica of the 1940s, 1950s jeans. I did a review of this as well. If you really want to see some of these videos, just go down, go to my channel and go to my favorites, and you'll see it under style. Uh, most of the salvage jeans and non salvage jeans that I, I have that I've reviewed. The next uh, non salvage jeans that I have that's pretty cool in my opinion is this recently acquired Polo Ralph, Ralph Lauren ID number 15941. I haven't made a video review of this but as you can tell this is pretty nice. Well faded, fits me, my size and it has this uh, button pockets all around. I will be doing a review on this when I get to Hawaii, but for now she will be tucked away and put on my moving pile. The next uh, jeans, non-salvage jeans that I have is this black 501 jeans. I don't think I made a video of this yet, but you know, this is a classic 501 jeans built probably somewhere in the 1990s. Very nice condition, nice and black. Of course, 501s, straight, and all buttons. So, love that. The next non salvage jeans that I have is this Edwin 503Z. 503Z. Now, Edwin obviously is made in Japan, and this type of Edwin right here is quite cheap, and they're quite um, familiar here in Japan. It's like your typical five uh, Levi's jeans in the United States. You can buy it anywhere. Uh, but I love this one because it's a classic and uh, the it's a straight cut as well, 503Z. The next uh, jeans, non-selvage that I have is this jersey from Edwin as well. And I believe I made a video of this. If not, then I've also uh, modeled this for you already. But perfect summer jeans because it is a jersey type and very, very light very cool so that's something that's i'm gonna probably make more videos of down the road and lastly this is a uniqlo 1990s fade style zipper straight cut jeans and you've definitely seen me on some of my videos modeling that for you that is pretty much the makeup of my jeans right now guys and um, i know i have probably more in my closet somewhere that's you know, in the lines of Levi's, uh, 502s, 541s. Uh, oh, and of course, I can't forget about what I'm wearing here, and I'm not gonna show you, but it is the the raw 541s, and I kind of like wearing this daily inside my house. Non-jeans that are 
that are starting to kind of make an appearance on my wardrobe are chinos and I do have a few chinos in my closet as well such as dockers you know khakis and things like that but I wanted to kind of show you of course I made a video of the spellbound chinos right here that's also one of my summer favorites because of the light material they use for the chinos and then I love this army green chinos from Uniqlo right here straight cut and perfect with white a white t-shirt white shoes and just a good all-around summer chinos very relaxed so that is pretty much my pants collection jeans collection denim collection that I'm gonna go pack away and you won't see I won't see it again for the next couple of months I'll probably keep one for traveling and for when I get there but majority of the time I'll I will switch to uh, shorts for ease of traveling and of course when I get to Hawaii it's gonna be a little bit warmer uh, so you'll see me on those as well I will probably make a video of my shorts you know I've already made a video of how to wear a Aloha, Aloha shirt I really respect the uh, you know that that type of uh, uh, summer wear and street wear so that's it for the jeans guys I am gonna go make a video of my shoes and I'm gonna pack away and kind of take away from this little studio that I have uh, so that when the Packers come they can pack it away if you're new to my channel again don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell we're growing this video guys and this video is dedicated to men's style my kind of style heritage rugged style and also I talk about grooming i talk about lifestyle and anything in particular and i hope you join me and uh, encourage me encourage some um, topics that you want me to talk about that's all i have for you today i really appreciate your support until next time